are back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So Malta just announced his first case of coronavirus and everyone was like, shut up Malta, no one gives a fuck. For starters, Malta, you sound more like an ingredient than a fucking country. And secondly, even if the entire population of Malta contracted coronavirus, that would still only be page 14 news. It would be on page 14 wedged between Leonardo DiCaprio wearing a fucking crinkled shirt and an ad for hair loss. The entire population of Malta has coronavirus. And even still, even still, that still wouldn't be enough to even mention it to a friend. It wouldn't be enough that the whole country has coronavirus to even turn to your friend and say, did you hear the whole entire country of Malta has coronavirus? They'll be like, who cares? Tell me about Leo's shirt. Nah, I'm sure Malta's a real important country. Where is it? Is it like a mix between Greece and Turkey? I feel like that's what happens. If a Greek and a Turk fuck, you end up with a Maltese. All right, let's just look her up. All right, here we go. Malta, the island of Malta. Oh, Malta. Malta's like a tiny island. It's not even as big as Tasmania. Does Malta have Nanette? Fuck Malta. What's its population? It's just off the end of that tip of the shoe of Italy. It's under Sicily. Sicilia. Malta. Oh, but my nonna is from Malta. Shut up. No one cares about your nonna either. What the fuck? Malta's population is 493,000. Shut up, Malta. Just become part of another country. No one cares. You're smaller than Fiji. Can you imagine being the president of Malta and trying to fucking set up a press conference to announce the first coronavirus? Even the newspapers are like, shut up. Just go on Twitter. (laughs) Announce it on Twitter. That's who should be on Twitter. The president of Malta. President of Malta goes on Twitter going, we just had our first case of coronavirus. We think we've got it under control, but we may need international help. And Trump reads that and just blocks him. Shut up, Malta. What's another country we collectively don't give a fuck about? I would say most of Africa, but I don't want to sound racist. Okay, these are the other countries that have just recently announced their first case of coronavirus. Peru, Serbia, Slovakia, and Togo. And I didn't think it was going to be possible to find a country we care less about than Malta until I saw Togo. Let's investigate Togo. This is how unimportant Togo is. I typed Togo into Google and instead of coming up with the country, it came up with the movie Togo. The Disney movie Togo that was made in 2019. An unknown Disney movie from 2019 is more important than the actual country of Togo. Okay, I'm now three scrolls down and I've finally found the country Togo. Alright, Togo is fucking jammed in there between Ghana and Benin. And at the top there's Burkina Faso. I fucking don't know. I know Ghana. Benin. What the fuck? Burkina, Burkina Faso. Is that like Burka? Is that a Muslim country as well, is it? What the fuck do they do in Togo? So Togo has 8 million people. It's pretty much twice the size of New Zealand, population-wise, and infinitely less important. And New Zealand is extremely unimportant itself. It's one of Africa's smallest countries... It's 57,000 square kilometers. It's smaller than Tasmania. Look, listen. If you're smaller than Tasmania, Tasmania is pretty big, but I'm going to say this. If you're smaller than Tasmania and you don't have a nanat, I'm not considering you a country anymore. You're out, Togo. You're now part of Ghana. Fucking geopolitics is easy as shit. You're just like, fuck up, Togo. You're too small. No one cares. You're now Ghana. And then Benin's like, oh, can we take Togo? We're like, who are you, Benin? You better be quiet or else you'll be Nigeria in a fucking second. I would love to go to Africa, though. 
kind of. In a tank surrounded by security. That's how I'd like to cruise through Africa. Like the original white people who went there. There's a country right in the middle of Africa. It doesn't get a lot of press. It's spelled N-I-G-E-R. It's probably an amazing country, but just no one ever wants to talk about it. Just in case you let it slip. If I was president of N-I-G-E-R, I'd be like, listen, listen, people of N-I-G-E-R. We are an amazing country. We are basically Wakanda from, or whatever it's called, from Black Panther. But no one ever speaks about us. And I suspect it's because we're 1G away from a very bad word. And saying that word makes the rest of the world uncomfortable. So how about we change our name, guys? Alright, does anyone have any suggestions? How about black? Alright, this wasn't a good idea. We should have just changed it in the middle of the night, not told these fucking idiots. Alright, the point is, Malta sucks, now Togo sucks, and if you're not bigger than Tasmania, and you don't have Nanette, you suck as well. Alright, that's enough. Saturday night, get back to it. Add me on social media, I'm Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Rate, review, subscribe to the pod, tell your friends about it, and I'll see ya the fuck later.